This is a story about two men who got lost out on a hiking trip. Meet Gabe. He's just your average guy. He just wanted to hike with one of his good friends out in the park. And this is James. He was ready for an adventure today, but not a life-threatening adventure. Two friends were just out walking the trails, enjoying the sunlight, and enjoying the greenery around them. The path was clear, but as they described, the moment they stepped off the path, their phones exploded, and they got lost. Panicked and overrun with fear, the friends were now in a very, very treacherous situation. Um, so, <clears throat> we've been lost out here for about 30 minutes. I'm getting pretty hungry. I ate before I came out here, but, you know, I'm a young growing man, and now I'm lost in the wild, and there's no source of food. James actually ran off to go see if he can find something in the creek. No, nothing. Nothing. Oh, me and Gabe, we split up. Go find different food sources. I can't find nothing. There's nothing around here. Just sand and leaves. Man. I don't even know where he is. I, I'm lost. I, I don't know. Hey. Hey. Hey, James. Did you find anything? Man, I can't find anything around here. Like, nothing. I mean, we're out in the middle of the woods. Ah, oh, man, we're, we're really stranded out here, man. There's, we gotta find a way to get fire or build a shelter or get water. I think we're gonna die. It's been about, I don't even have a watch, about 20 minutes maybe, I'm not too sure. Uh, me and Gabe, we built this uh, lovely shelter here and uh, I found some rope right here. I think I'm gonna go fishing with it, see if I can get some fish. Yeah, me and James, we built this fort. <clears throat> Hopefully it's gonna keep us um, <clears throat> dry if it rains and add protection from the night monsters. But uh, we're about to go catch some fish. He found a really good piece of string, and I think we're gonna catch the, the largest one in the, in the creek if, with that. We're gonna go fishing. Give me a minute. Hold on. James cast the line, but there's a problem. Will they figure it out? I think we need to go lower. They have figured it out. This will work. There's definitely gonna be fish in here. James, you work at Whataburger, right? You can rip off a piece of your shirt, there'll most likely be hamburger grease all over the shirt. Tie it on a piece of string, whip it out there, catch a fish. I think it'll work. James tries the strategy to see if it works. Hopefully they will get a bite so they can eat tonight. Dude, the shirt's not working, man. Fish aren't biting, I mean, I'm not gonna get any fish, we're gonna starve to death. Yeah, we didn't catch any fish. Um, James used a piece of his shirt instead of real bait, so we didn't catch anything. I mean, maybe we can look for some insects or whatever, but so far I haven't, I haven't met one insect out here. I've seen nothing out here. I think James is right. I think we are going to die. James runs off in a frenzy of panic. He 
find out why when we come back after this commercial break. This program brought to you by Sack Stuffers Incorporated. Come on down to Bulging Sack Savings and bulge your sack with some savings. I want to get my cardio in before I died out here. The two friends are losing hope and determination. They don't know if they'll be able to make it. They don't see the end near. And they don't see a way out of the situation. Right before they were about to give up, a glimmer of hope shows its face. There's a trash bag. There's a trash bag right there. Yeah, dude. I see the trash bag. This means humans are around. It's also a shopping bag. Right here beneath me the entire time. This is exactly what we needed. Is this one small glimmer of hope to pull us through this day. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Gabe and James decide to grab the trash bag and combine it with the shopping bag to create some sort of trash compass that will lead them to civilization. Unfortunately, it's getting late, so they will have to hold off until the morning. Our search is going to have to wait until morning. It's getting dark. We're going to have to go in for the night and rest up. You're right. It's getting dark. Go sit in our camp and we'll wait it out for the night and uh, in the morning we'll, we'll uh, hopefully, using this trash, navigate our way out of this mess. James, we're going to have to sleep. Yeah, yeah we are. It's getting late, I mean. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm getting tired, man. It's a nice fort. Yeah, I think we did a good job. You know, it's these small moments like these that have, um, really just taught me to be humble. I mean, you get lost in a, in a city park and things just go awry and you just don't, you just don't know what to do and it helps you find yourself, you know? It's been really, <laughs> it's been really hard, but I have hope that we're gonna make it. <laughs> I have hope that we're gonna make it. Do this, man. Don't give up. Come on, we got a home. Computers, video games, that's right. Think about those and you will get through this. I promise you that. You're right. You're right. We can do it. We're gonna find our way out in the morning. We're gonna do this. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Gabe and James are now sleeping in their fort, but the rest is well needed for the adventure ahead and the search for civilization in the morning. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, we just woke up. 6 a.m. in the morning, sun is just coming up right now. And today's the day that we uh, use the trash to navigate our way back to society. I am very excited. Very excited. We gotta get this ball rolling. We gotta, we gotta figure this out and, and navigate out of this treacherous place. So, we're gonna go uh, grab our trash right there. And, um, Navigate our way out of here. Let's get this started. Ah, trash! 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 I got it. Oh. Oh. Combine this with that trash bag. And together they will lead us the way home. All right, that should do it. Now we just wait and uh, it's gonna show us the right way, right? Dude, 
I'm pretty sure the bag is showing us to, to go that way, man. Dude, it is. It is showing us that way. That way is the way to go home. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, Ben James, I have one last final push into civilization. Will they make it or will they be stuck on them for the weight of our lives? Or will they end the game in chains? Uh, dude, I, I saw civilization right out there, but there's a root. Dude, a root? There's a whole root blocking our way. To get past a root to get to where you need to go? Oh, come on, man. Now, we can make it, James. We can do it. We have the tenacity, the grit, and the determination. Let's go. Another human being. Yes. Civilization. <laughs> My God. We made it. We made it. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah, we got. We stepped off the path. Immediately got lost for, I don't know, about 10 hours. I don't even have a watch on. That's how bad it was. We slept for about eight of those 10 hours. I mean, eh. But you know what? We survived. It's our story. You know, I really thought we were going to die uh, being that far out from civilization. I didn't know if me and James were going to make it. Um, it was really hard times. Really tough times, really tough decisions to make. But um, we survived. And this is our story. The two friends were able to make it out alive thanks to a good amount of hope luck and determination to survive without these qualities they surely would have died thank you for watching the production of milk and pork it just dumb enough to survive uh, please subscribe to their channel to be notified of new videos uh, thank you <sighs> End credits. <laughs> <laughs>